Hey, what's going on guys? Excess Magical Team Nocturnal and today I'm going to show you the Xbox Smart Glass application for your Android device. Uh, this application would let you do is pretty much control your Xbox Live account and your Xbox from your cell phone. Um, <clears throat> what you want to do first is you want to go to the market <clears throat> and you want to download you want to download the Xbox Smart Glass application from the App Store and uh, once you download it you want to open it, log in your Xbox Live account and uh, get that set up. Then on your Xbox what you want to do is if you have the new, the current update you want to go to settings, you want to go to system settings, console settings and you want to go to connected devices and you want to make sure the smart glass application is turned on. Okay, once that's done go to your phone Open up the, uh, the application on your, on your cell phone. Let it log in. Let's see here, get the focus a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> and right there it says connecting. So what you're going to do is, if it says connect device, just click on that. As you can see on the, on the Xbox, it says I have connected with Smart Glass. So what you can do with this, I'm going to show you real quick, is... <clears throat> you can you can modify your avatar on the Xbox. I think something with a focus. Come on. There we go. You can modify your avatar on the Xbox. Um, you can edit your information for your Xbox account on here. Uh, you can hit the little T-shirt here, and it goes into edit your avatar information. So you can edit the styles, the features of your avatar. Um, <clears throat> you can view other features of the Xbox on here, your recent played applications, the reviews of the applications you played, um, your messages, your friends, who's online, and then it has a remote control here for Smart Glass. If you don't see the remote control icon on your phone, you can click the little menu down here or hit menu, and you can hit remote, and it'll go to the remote, remote uh, application. So what we're going to do here is, uh, we have the remote open up right now. And it has you know your four buttons, and the center is your A button. It's also your slider. So what you, what you can do with this is you can use this to slide on the Xbox. As you can see here, you can go up, down. You can open applications up. You can go into menus. You can go like uh, say my applications. You can tap. Let me see. You're going to my video apps. Go in there. You can tap the phone once. And opens up your applications. If you want to go back, hit the B on the phone, and go to the menu again. So <clears throat> I haven't really played with this this much, so this is gonna be the first time. I want to see if Netflix, by some chance, it works for Netflix, maybe. So let's see. I know with the Internet Explorer, the cursor was kind of moving, it was kind of laggy, but I was also on Wi-Fi. Right now I'm on 4G LTE while I'm doing this video. The Xbox and the phones on 4G LTE, so it's a little better connection. So we'll see what happens when um, with Netflix and this, see how they talk to each other. See if I can go through the videos, maybe view some information, stuff like that. <clears throat> Alright, so there's Netflix. So as you can see, you can go through Netflix if you wanted to. Just slide, just slide your, your uh, finger on the phone. You can hit on the video, hit back. If you don't want to watch it, let's see, or not, let's see, yeah, there it goes. <clears throat> so it does work for Netflix. Let's see, exit Netflix. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool on the phone. You can control your Xbox if you didn't want to use your controller by some weird chance. Uh, you can use this for the Xbox and do everything the Xbox does. <clears throat> I mean, the controller does on your phone, which is pretty cool. So you can also, let's try out the, let's try the keyboard on this thing and see. So we're going to go into social. Let's go ahead and send somebody a message real fast and see how this works out. I don't think we're going to be able to, to type like a keyboard on this thing, but we'll see. Oh, look at that. So you can type on here. Yeah, look at that. See? So you can use your, your Android keyboard to type 
on your Xbox. Let me see if I can get a little further out here. I know it's kind of blurry. I'm sorry for that, guys. But you're, you're only going to focus on one thing at a time here. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, spell check don't. Okay, spell check works on the keyboard. Let me see something here. Yeah, it fills in the words for you. And it does auto protect. That is really cool. That's really neat. So yeah, you can use your phone as a keyboard for your Xbox if you don't have a keyboard on your controller like one of these. So if you don't have a keyboard, you can use your phone with spell check and send a message. And I guess if you hit done, and you can send a message, which we're not going to send, but yeah. So that is pretty neat. So yeah, this is the application. Um, this is called the Smart Glass uh, application for Xbox for your Android device. This is the Xbox 360 with the latest update. Um, <clears throat> it's a really cool application. I recommend you all get it if you have an Xbox. It's free. You don't got to pay for it. Um, so that's it. So I'm Access Magical. Uh, same thing as my gamer tag. If you want to add me, I play uh, Battlefield 3, Force of 4. I don't play Call of Duty. I'm not a Call of Duty fan. You know, sorry, just the way I am. Um, so yeah, if you like the video, subscribe, like it, give it a thumbs up, share it, um, like us on Facebook, add us on uh, follow us on Twitter, add us on Google Plus, uh, and uh, leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.